Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python series. This is our third tutorial on this one. In this tutorial, we will learn to install the PyCharm on the Windows machine. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can install the Python in order to write the Selenium scripts. Now we need an integrated development environment where we can actually write our scripts. Okay. And the most popular with Python is the PyCharm. You can use any other IDE, but we recommend that we should go with the PyCharm. So in order to download the PyCharm, just go to the browser here and search for download PyCharm. And the PyCharm is offered by JetBrains. So this is the website. Click on this one. And here you will see that this is uh, the Python ID for the professional developers. And it is available for the Windows, Mac and Linux as well. And but you will see that it's a free trial, right? and you will see some pricing here however there is one community edition which is for the development as well and this is free and built on open source so we don't need this uh professional developers id and our automation scripts will work properly on the community edition so let's go down here and here you have multiple options dot xe dot xe arm 64 just go with default one click on download here so it will start downloading automatically in case if it doesn't install automatically you can use this direct link as well so i have already downloaded this one so let me go to my folder here and this is basically your setup file and i'm running this one by double clicking on this one click on run here and it will start the setup for pycharm so we will go with the yes option here then this is the first screen you will see here click on continue then it is asking where it needs to be installed so go with the default one here and you should have some space available so the space required for this one is 1.5 gb so you should have that much space in your system in that particular drive okay so click on next now we have some options here so do you really want to create a shortcut on the desktop check on this one then do we need to create uh, association with dot pi we can do that we can also use this update path variable so just click on this one because we don't need to do it manually just click on this one and go with association as well and click next now it will ask where to install exactly so go with this default one click on install so it will now installing the pycharm in our windows machine so once it will be installed i will open this one and see what kind of things you can do in order to configure this pycharm for the selenium with the python so it will take some time and if you want to see some details here so click here so you will see that different files are being extracted and you know it's installing this particular package on our machine right now so uh, meanwhile it's installing so let me go back to this website here and just go to this features so here you will learn about the different uh, different features here which features are provided by the PyCharm and if you go to the surprising session so here you will see that the PyCharm ID for professional developer this is the cost per user per for the first year then second year then third year right so if you want to go with this one you can go for individual use again there's a different pricing but what I believe is that we don't need this one because this is for the developers we would be writing our scripts in Python for the automation testing so we don't need this one but in order to uh, you know understand the different features just go there and you can explore this particular area so the, all things are available here okay and it also has basically shown us the difference between the community edition and the professional edition so both have intelligent python editor graphical debugger and test runner navigation and refactoring code inspection vcs support uh, we don't need setup in these tools we are not doing a web development we don't need a python web frameworks though 
we use uh, the Python uh, frameworks for automation, but these are not the uh, basically a web frameworks. So we don't need this one. Even we don't need this Python profiler. We don't need a remote development capabilities, even the database and the SQL support. So if these are basically for the developers here. So that's why we didn't go with this one. We, we went with the PyCharm capability addition here. And also you can go here and from here you can also download this one and install the the PyCharm. Okay. Now let me go here and here it says that you, you want to reboot now or you want to reboot to your system because some configuration needs to be done when we actually restart. So right now I'm not restarting this one. I'm clicking on finish this one. And if I go to my desktop, so this is my community edition here on the desktop and just start this one. And in order to work PyCharm properly, you, we need to restart it once. So ensure that you will restart this one. So I have already some files, some packages already created on this one. And now what we need to do is that simply go here and click on the new project. And this is a location where it will actually create a new project. Okay. And then we have this new environment using this virtual environment and the location of virtual environment is this. And furthermore, when you're writing your Python scripts, either it's Vicinium or, or for any other tool, what you need to do is that you need a base interpreter, okay, which will interpret the Python. So it's saying that this is invalid. Okay. And let me select this one. And now what I need to do is that I need to go with the create and it will create a main.py welcome script. Okay. So click on this one. I will go with this window here. Now it will create the project here and it will set up a virtual environment in order for to develop this one. Now this is uh, the layout cell here in PyCharm and this is a basic script. So in order to run this one, you see that the main uh, file is selected. You, you can go with the current file. This is for the debugging. This is for the execution. So if I click on this one, so you say this, it printed high PyCharm. Right. So here, this is your project explorer. Then you have different options here. You can go with the commit, find, debug, hierarchy. So all options are available here. Then Python packages. If we have installed any packages, you will see that those packages are here. Then services. Then in, right, in order to execute some commands, we have this terminal here. Okay, and then version controlling, like when we have to commit our code. So from here, you can actually use git, okay, in order to commit your code. So this is, a, you know, a very basic, you know, highlight. And this is really simple to understand. And if I go to the options here, basically, so if I go here, so you will see that we have option for new project, new scratch file, recent projects, some settings, file properties manage id settings if you want so some developers and automation engineers what they do is that they they make some changes to this id as per their convenience and you can import those you can export those okay and then we have this view option so in view options you will say, see this we have tool windows where we commit project bookmark find run debug so all options are available here we have learn option here then in terms of appearance, you can change the appearance from here. Okay. And if we go to navigate here, so in navigate, uh, search everywhere. Okay. In class, in file, in text, navigate in a file, right? In the code, we can inspect the code, code cleanup, analyze the code. So we have different options here. So, so mainly, uh, we will uh, be using this run option. We will be using run, debug. Right, we'll, that, that's the thing that we'll be doing in the automation context. So there are so many options. You can just go and explore these options from here. Okay. And uh, in our upcoming tutorial, we will learn how we can install the Selenium in this particular project in the PyCharm ID. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.